We we're talking about something that really focused on the behaviors of individual employees and their supervisors and money that was improperly spent on or by those employees. And we're talking about $280,000 worth of losses to California taxpayers. In March 2020, the work world was turned upside down. A statewide order for people to stay at home. Many state workers were sent home. If at all possible, those employees were expected to telework. According to the state auditor's office, one state employee told her bosses she didn't have a computer or internet, so they allowed her to remain on paid administrative time off and stay that way for nearly two years, collecting almost $114,000 salary for doing nothing at all. The same report found two employees getting paid tens of thousands of dollars extra for time they were not at work. A nurse in the Correctional Health Services Department was taking time off. The problem, the time off was never deducted from the nurse's available leave, and the nurse was able to take 15 weeks off over two years, an overpayment of about $38,000. At the Department of State Hospitals, a psychiatric technician was found to be getting to work late, leaving early and taking extended breaks for nearly three years to the tune of being paid about $12,500 for hours not worked. A common thread in the whistleblower investigations? The findings that overpayments and misuse happened over long periods of time and could have been caught sooner, costing taxpayers less if there had been proper oversight. A lack of oversight, uh, lack of supervision, and uh, perhaps even more importantly, a lack of uh, consequences. John Kupal is president of Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association. He's not surprised by the auditor's report findings. However, he thinks it's emblematic of a larger problem. That doesn't offend my sensibilities as much as the $30 billion of fraud in the EDD department. So this is, uh, you know, this report comes out on misbehavior of uh, rank and file employees, but what they don't address is the abject irresponsibility of upper management in executing, administering some major programs. So as you heard there, Eric and Nikki from the Howard Johnson, uh, Jarvis rather, Taxpayer Association, they essentially say the big picture is this isn't a huge fraction of California's budget, $280,000. You know, it's just a drop in the bucket when you compare it to the amount of budget that California is talking about. Nevertheless, if you're talking about just general oversight and general lack of a focus on where money is being spent, how it's being spent, and whether or not people are doing their jobs, they say, you know, big picture, it's concerning. Reporting from the state capitol, Carmen Dickerson, Fox 40 News.